Welcome to a brand new video. I'm going to share with you today exactly why most amateur golfers find it so hard to create lag in your golf swing. And you know what? I'm going to give you a simple solution we can all implement in our golf game right away. Now, we all want lag in the golf swing, right? Because that is what we think. And it makes logical sense, isn't it? That's our source of power. We can hold it and snap it out right at the bottom in order to deliver that crunching strike we're after. But here is a word of caution. Don't make a fatal error because that's gonna cause you to hit probably the worst shots of your life. Okay, come here a little bit closer. Now, most of us think of lag as that angle between the shaft and our left arm. And getting that as acute as we can, so this small as we can, as our way of simply creating more and more and more lag. Now you'll notice here, the more lag I've created, the more cupped my glove hands got. In a sense, this is where we go wrong because that opens our face dramatically. Now, if you're opening the club face, we have to do one or two things. We have to stand here and release the club like this to try and square it. Or if we've got so much lag in the wrong way, we have to throw it away right at the bottom in order to try and make a strike. So don't make that fatal error. This is what you've got to do. Now, how we release the golf club is very dependent on simply how you hold it, okay? But we're gonna give you some general advice here on what we're looking for. So I want you to think of lag as this angle here. As we come into last parallel, can we have the angle that I've got on the screen here. Not anything more acute. Try and not have anything less like this, where at last parallel, that shaft is running parallel to the ground, not all the way up here, because this is gonna allow us to rotate on, keep our hands nice and passive, keep that club face square for longer, and we know that is simply the route to much better strikes, whether that be with our iron, with our driver. This is how, listen to this right now, that's what we wanna do. This is how you're gonna bring it into your game. So today we're filming down at the beaches, one of the, or actually, let's say, the best driving range facility near me in Nutsford. Now, don't forget this channel is powered by you, the viewers, and today's question comes in from Mark Clayton. So make sure you subscribe. And also, a lot of you have been asking for course vlogs. Here's a link to my other channel. Let's get back to the tip. So let's look at what our wrists can do. So I'm gonna put my hands together here and we can sort of make quite a lot of motion in these wrists, can't we? Where we go wrong is we get too much of this action. So essentially, these thumbs trying to point back towards you, okay? That would be this action in order to try and hold that lag. That's where we create a little bit too much cupping. So what I want you to picture here, and a great way of bringing this into your game is hook your right hand under your left, just as I have there. And I want you to practice just some feeling of some swings, feeling thumbs away, knuckles away, rotate in. Watch that closely. See on this slow here, thumbs away, knuckles away, rotate in. Now what I'm gonna do here is have a look at these videos. I've got down the line, and face on, making the exact desirable move. Slowly, pay attention to what my knuckles are doing, what my thumbs are doing, and how I don't make the angle too acute. As the hands come past my right thigh, all I'm doing is rotating and holding that in. So you can really see I'm bringing in the lag without too much angle. So not making that fatal error. And going back to the title of this whole video, why a lot of us struggle to create lag. So my perfect drill for this, I'm gonna do it with my six iron. You find a club that you feel comfortable with, this is the drill. So this is the drill that I want you to take into your game. I want you to imagine you're gonna set the angle we just described. So if we're swinging up, swinging back down, we're gonna get into that position, that desirable position, okay? So we're gonna stand here, set the angle, turn it back, and then just come down and hit away. So you're almost like you're preempting what position you want the hands to be in already, okay? Really nice and simple. Let's hit one face on and one down the line. So set it up, swing away, and you'll really be delivering that angle into the ball exactly as we said. 
So come on, stick with me here. I know you'll feel like you're not holding the angle as much, but that's exactly what I want you to do. So again, you're gonna set the angle we're after, just that one there. We're gonna go up, swing away. Look how far that has gone with so little effort.